Evening, Mr. Mayor. My name is uh, Lieutenant Thomas Redman, and my address is listed on the form that I gave you. As you guys can see, I'm in my Navy uniform today. The reason for that is not to brag, but I've held my tongue while people on this stage berated me and misrepresented me for the last 18 months. I'm wearing my uniform today to remind the commission and every member of my community that I served 23 years honorably in the United States Navy. I left my family many times for six months at a time so people had the right to state their opinion. At the May 19th commission meeting, I stated my opinion that Ms. Kelly White may have a conflict. Apparently this upset Commissioner Gillian. He stated, he was insulted that this guy from Orlando comes in and has no idea what our community is about, has no understanding of the history that we have gone through. Well, first of all, I don't live in Orlando. Second of all, I'm a resident a uh, long time since the day I retired of Volusia County. I have lived in DeLand, I have lived in Port Orange, and I've lived in New Smyrna. So, Mr. Gillian, if you'd read any of the emails I sent you, you would know that. I will also say that pointing at me and berating me was disrespectful, and I am entitled to my opinion, as is every other citizen in Daytona Beach, regardless of what that opinion is. Mr. Gilliland then followed up with a threatening email saying he was going to have the city attorney take action on me if I didn't stop coming to the commission and lying. The difference between me and Mr. Gilliland is I can back up everything I say. So you can look up all these awards, the three Navy Commendation Medals, the seven Navy Achievement Medals, and you can look up my addresses because I do know what I'm talking about. So let's talk about some facts. I have 40 seconds left. Dr. Marbot was paid $185,000 to give a plan that we're no longer using. The National Coalition for the Homeless sent a letter advising this city of the proper direction for the community. You ignored it. The United States Interagency Council on Homelessness, which is the federal authority. The Florida Governor's Council on Homelessness, which is the state authority. Randy, Ray, Chet, and everybody that's been working on this. You've been ignoring us all. I can't believe it. I'm sick to my stomach. Thank you very much.